Hello everyone. What I'm doing first is using a DVD, a used DVD. I'm using it as a stencil to make my circle for the soccer ball. Next I'm going to try to draw in the lines for the pentagon on the soccer ball. Trying to lightly sketch in these lines. A pentagon is quite difficult to create. And trying to get a symmetrical pentagon is the challenge, and of course, is the goal. I'm bringing in my eraser just to clean up some of those edges. I like using a white eraser. The pink ones like to leave pink marks behind. We don't want any pink marks. So that's why I use a white eraser. Now I'm lightly drawing in the lines for the hexagon. Because the middle shape there is the pentagon. Then a soccer ball is also made up of hexagons. I'm trying to lightly divide up the hexagons that will connect to the other pentagons. And the challenge and goal is to be sure, trying to get your hexagons and your pentagons evenly spaced and correctly positioned. So as you're drawing, it's always important to draw very lightly. create these guidelines to help you to understand and to know where the position of these shapes will be. I'm going to go in and clean up some of these lines, these sketchy lines. Now as you're drawing these hexagon and pentagons, you know, that can get frustrating. Just don't give up, just keep going. Draw lightly and use those white erasers. Next, I'm going to use the side of my pencil to shade in the pentagons. Using the side of the pencil is kind of nice. It covers a larger area faster. It's important to shade in the correct shapes to give the illusion of the soccer ball. Now I'm just cleaning up my edges and shading in the other pentagon. Yep, using my eraser to clean up some of the edges. Next, I'm using my pencil to darken and refine in my lines. Now what I'm doing is shading. The light source is coming from the right side, so the left side of the object will be shaded. That's where the shadows are. To give the illusion that the soccer ball is a three-dimensional object. Even though we're drawing on a flat surface, we want it to make it look like it's three-dimensional. And that's one of the challenges of drawing. Now what I'm doing is bringing in a shadow, the soccer ball shadow, then I'm going to use the side of my pencil and begin shading in that shadow. This helps to create that illusion of depth and that dimension that we're looking for. You can see there I'm using my finger by using your finger to shade in everything, to smudge it, is a nice little technique. You can use a paper stomp or even a 
tissue to do this as well. Going through with my eraser just to clean up some of those other edges. I need to fix my shadow. Now what I'm doing is trying to darken in some of these shades and these shadows a little bit more. Because your shadows want to gradually be lighter. As it gets closer to the light source, it wants to be lighter. And as it gets farther, the shadow as it gets farther away from the, the light source, it wants to become darker. You know, I'm just trying to darken in those that pentagon there to make sure that it stands out amongst everything else. It was getting hidden in the shadow, and we don't want that. Now what I'm doing is just shading in the, this pentagon here, just trying to get it to be dark enough to really be contrasted with the white. Now what I'm doing is using my DVD template again, and you can notice that I'm using a black pencil this time. It's a dark pencil, just to darken up all these lines and the pentagons just a little bit darker, make it contrast a little bit more, stand out a little bit more from the background, and also against the hexagons on the soccer ball. I'm also shading in the shadow just a little bit darker around the part where the soccer ball and the table actually meet, or the surface meets. And I'm smudging with my finger once again, just to get a nice gradual blend. And there you have it, a nice looking soccer ball. Just put some final touches, continue drawing, and we'll see you next time.